Today is a day where we've broken out of the normal routines and the normal patterns, uh, the normal rhythms of life to come here and to celebrate your love story. And, uh, and I love how love stories work, right? It's always two strangers at the beginning, uh, but you have to start somewhere, right? When you saw this woman and thought, wow, right? I have to get to know this girl. And you started to, you took her on some dates and you started to see her and you started to hear her and you saw her heart. And Francis, maybe you felt seen, you felt heard really for the first time. And you're like, wow, she sees that too. Wow, this, this is amazing. And uh, though you started out as strangers, are now the most important people in each other's lives. And that really is a remarkable process that two people can share. Uh, St. Paul the Apostle described love this way. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Love does not boast. And love is not proud. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It is never without hope, and love will persevere with you right to the very end. Love never fails. Last night at the welcome dinner, I met lots of Francis and Wang's friends um, for the first time. A lot of people commented that we look the same. <laughs> we are brothers. <laughs> But anyway, I took it as a compliment. Um, in many ways though, we are opposites. Wang's teetotal, I like to drink, as most people saw last night. <laughs> Wang is one of the most caring, loyal, and intelligent people I know. A genuine good guy. I've only had a few Zoom calls with Francis, and I've only just met her a few days ago for the first time in person. Actually, before I go any further, can I just say how beautiful and stunning you look tonight? Absolutely gorgeous. Wang, you're a very lucky guy. So my time with her has been brief, but she's really considerate and caring and made me feel very welcome. So thank you, Francis. You are chosen and you are loved by God. Clothe yourself with compassion for one another. Wrap yourselves in garments of kindness, of humility, of gentleness, and of patience. Allow room in your life for others' faults and forgive anyone who offends. Remember, you have been forgiven and so freely forgive. Above all else, clothe yourself with love which binds you together in perfect harmony. guys find each other hope you will stay like this happy love each other and be patient Francis especially yeah <laughs> but both Effie and I very happy to receive Wang to our family and Francis of course we miss you but both of you can come back to our house anytime anytime you want Most men never get a chance to prepare new vows, especially after only three months. But I'm lucky to express my promises to you in front of our friends and family once again. As I'm sure a lot of my friends know, who haven't seen me for quite a while can attest, I'm twice the man I used to be, with a bigger waist and a bigger heart. And it's all because of you. I'm wiser, more patient, and hopefully more thoughtful. From the moment we all met, I knew you were special, as we spoke for hours over coffee that first time, and we've never really stopped talking since.
Three and a half years ago, we met up for coffee. I was two minutes late and I know this because you told me. That afternoon, we were goofy, silly, and excited. That afternoon, I wish I didn't have dinner plans so I could just keep talking to you. I tend to have my guard up when I meet new people. I hide my nervousness and I fill silence with chatter. But with you, it came so easily. I feel comfort and acceptance. Although it wasn't easy to start with the distance between us, it both became so effortless once we started dating. I've never felt more at ease with anyone. I love you and I'm honored to call you my wife and I cannot wait to live the rest of our lives together. I promise that we will build a life together that will be filled with happiness and joy. And I will love you from this moment until my last. I love that you are my kind of annoying. I love that you are kind and that you're patient and how you make me feel that being with me or around me is your first choice. To you, I promise to trust, respect, honor, and support. I vow to remain humble enough to ask for forgiveness and wise enough to freely give. And above all, to love you unconditionally and to stand by you in strength and to carry you through weakness. And I will love you from this moment until my last. Now since Yi Wang and Yi Francis have consented together in marriage and made your covenant to each other before God and in the presence of these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stand to your feet, please. As I introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Fung. I'll end this speech with two bits. The first is from my dad. Life is a flower for which love is the honey. It's not bad, dad. <laughs> now from myself, having been married for six years, Wang, I'm gonna give you some parting words of advice. And these will be the four most important words. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so everyone, please raise your glasses and join me in toasting Francis and Wang. Mr. and Mrs. Fung. Frances has a huge heart. That's one of the things that I love the most about her. And she has a really weird sense of humour which somehow manages to tie into my weird sense of humour. But, you know, I like to think that spending so much time with me was Frances's way of preparing her to be married to Wang. I, <laughs> I have a lot in common with Wang. I think, you know, we are lawyers. When I see Wang and Frances together, it just makes sense. When I first heard about Wang, Frances said, you know, from the first meeting, I've known he was the one. You know, almost from the first time that they met each other, I guess you could say it was kind of like meeting an old friend. So for that, Wang, you're welcome. <laughs> for the first blessing, we wish you a fruitful marriage and blessed happiness with many years to come with mutual respect. Yeah!